It looks as though cooperative marketing is here to stay. Bob Carbert of the Canadian Federation of Agriculture talks to some producers. Here now are John Vanderbosch, Howard Malcolm, Bert Maw, and Jim Haggerty. Hello, Bob. Hello, John. How are you? Want you to meet Howard Malcolm, Bob Carbert. How are you, Bob? Hello, Bert. Hey, John. How are you, Bert? Very good. Well, John, you got a nice lot of pigs here. How many great A's do you think you have in this lot? I expect to get about 60% of these. There are some of them are a bit heavy in the shoulder, and that'll cut you great now and Bob. Mm -hmm. So there's one thing that, uh, that has occurred to me, and I've often wondered uh, why it is that uh, farmers generally uh, are so sold on this agency system of marketing. Well, there are several reasons for that. One of them that I could just think of now is that we get from about three quarters of a cent more in the outlying points. That means quite a bit in our area. This chart shows the wide variation of prices throughout Ontario before 1952. The top line represents the price at Toronto in that year. At Kitchener, producers received 27 cents less than at Toronto. At London, 43 cents less. At Stratford, 66 cents less. And so it varied across the province. Today, prices have been stabilized in Ontario so that at all marketing terminals, prices are equal to those at Toronto and at some points as much as five cents higher per hundredweight. Uh, we market about 2,000 hogs a week, between two and three. In that means district. In our district. That means two or three thousand dollars a week more for the farmers of Eastern Ontario. Mm -hmm. Before we had agency marketing, there is a shortage of hogs in that area. The law of supply and demand did not work without bargaining power. Well, that sounds like a very good point. Uh, I can see your reasoning. Uh, so much for returns. Uh, how about cost? Uh, how much does it cost you? Well, it actually costs 40 cents per hog to sell these hogs. But that isn't very costly when you figure that uh, it covers the selling of the hogs, the operation of the assembly points, the cashing of the checks at par, and the spreading of information among the producers. Then there's another point that's quite often forgotten. Before agency selling, we had a deduction of 20 to 25 cents per hog for condemnation insurance. Now we get the same coverage without that deduction. So when you deduct that from the 40 cents, the selling fee is actually only 15 or 20 cents per hog. Mm -hmm. I can see now your point. Well, how about you fellows? I suppose that uh, there must be some logical reason why you're selling hogs to the agency as well and favoring it. Well, I think that one of the most important things is the uh, price of the Toronto market's been raised uh, in relation to the other uh, centers across Canada. This chart covers the period from 1952 to 1956. The price at Toronto is represented by the solid black line at the top. The broken lines show the amounts by which prices at Winnipeg, Calgary, and Edmonton fell below those at Toronto. For instance, in 1952, the Edmonton price was 50 cents per hundredweight lower than Toronto. Calgary, a dollar lower. And Winnipeg, a dollar and a half lower than at Toronto. This trend has continued through 1956. Uh, we've done that, I think, through uh, good salesmanship. In the hog producers, we have the best uh, trained salesmen, and they're experienced, and they have all the data right at their fingertips. Yes, and there's another factor of salesmanship. You've got to have some way of measuring the product you sell. And uh, this was one thing that we, we hadn't before. Uh, when our uh, hogs were uh, uh, sent in before, we had tremendous uh, fluctuation in the dressing percentages between each, uh, each of the different uh, killing plants. The percentages went up and down. And now, with our uh, assembly point weighing, we get a check on these dressing percentages and uh, we get adjustments where they fall too low. And uh, then another thing, when they, uh, all the hogs went into uh, Packer's Yard, the bulk of them went into Packer's Yards, we had uh, uh, about seven to 10 percent were setting the price for hogs. Now we have the bulk of the hogs are uh, used to set the price. Well, fellows, you've done a good job of salesmanship on selling me on this uh, agency system of marketing. 
you mentioned these these very good points of higher returns and lower selling costs of good salesmanship accurate weights and bargaining power all of these would seem to me to add up to a very very efficient type of operation and it's the type of an operation that would seem to appeal to you farmers and to all farmers like our friend john preston